The air is composed mostly of oxygen, nitrogen and carbon dioxide, but recently there's been something else. Festive cheer. Christmas is happening at the moment, everywhere, even if you don't celebrate it, which is fair enough, because the true meaning has kind of been ruined through greed, consumerism, and Ryan Seacrest. Ryan Seacrest. Christmas carolers, why are you singing? Silent Night, it was. What is it about this time of year that makes people want to go to another person's house and sing at them? That's about it though, I can't really bitch about carolers, my sister's name's Carol and it's not really fair. Anyway, the first thing I really wanted to talk about was Santa's naughty and nice list, which let's face it is a little bit out of order. He's an old guy who watches children all year and then gives the ones he likes gifts, which is grooming. And then he gives the ones he doesn't like coal. Fuck you Santa. Plus, who's sustaining this guy? He's been in business since the 19th century and he's only paid annually through milk and cookies. That's where your taxes are going, guys. The guy hides all the way over the North Pole as well, so I'm pretty sure he's got a dark past. Sit on Santa's lap and I'll give you a present. I wonder who started that trend. Grooming. Another thing I wanted to talk about is Christmas music, which, by the way, never changes. There are five songs we listen to over and over and over every single year. All over Christmas, Mariah, is for you to stop singing. I'm gonna say it, guys. These songs are starting to annoy me. Everywhere I go, they follow me. There's this one guy who gives his heart away every year. Stop doing it, mate. It obviously doesn't work. Stop giving people your heart. It's a weird thing to do. Got this for you. Oh, hey, thanks. Ah! Christmas is the only holiday which has music specifically for it, it seems. Easter certainly doesn't, and it should. Just imagine, Easter Bunny's coming to town, bring in with him tooth decay. It also seems like the majority of Christmas songs are by Bing Crosby. What kind of name is Bing? Is it? What kind of name is that? It's like his parents are struggling to find a name for him, and then the doorbell rang, and they're like, oh yeah, that will do. But there's that one song, the one about the 12 days of Christmas, which just sounds like someone's trying to write a shopping list whilst tripping on acid. Hey, do you want anything from the store? Yeah, six geese are laying. Cool. Anything else? Three French hens. Alright, is that all? Uh, no, we need some milk as well. Also, there's a bit of a midget shortage at the moment because Santa's stealing them all and taking them to the North Pole to work in his midget sweatshops. When you think about it, that's a weird business plan. We shall employ only midgets. Are you gonna pay them? No! Ah. Shut up, Ryan. You are not mad. I am a bit. When it comes to unwrapping Christmas gifts, we've all got our own little way of dealing with crap presents. And that usually is to say thank you as loud as we can. Oh, thanks. Napkins. Exactly what I wanted. Like, I get that it's the thought that counts, but I swear sometimes people must have a thought process of Forrest Gump. But I thought you like napkins, Jenny. Seriously, though, when it comes to last minute Christmas gifts, you cannot do worse than Van Gogh. Shit! All the shops are cloth. What can I get? Oh, uh, an ear. She'll love that, an ear. An ear's a great gift. I'll get her an ear. I'm kidding, he didn't give someone his ear because he needed a last minute Christmas gift. He did it because he was completely mental. Anyway, that was my festive Christmas video. I hope you feel very merry after watching it. I shall see you soon. My Twastagram book details are below. This is my last video. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. <laughs>